Returning to Lakers Street is Simon Johnson. Simon, first question, how does it feel to be back on the hallowed turf? Yeah, it's pretty good to be fair. Um, it's the first time I've been back um, since I left. Um, seeing a few familiar faces and uh, it's great to be back. August 2007 you signed for Hereford. How did the move come about? Um, well, originally I was on trial at Bradford. Um, I was looking for a club at this point. Um, I got offered a contract at uh, Bradford and uh, I received a call off John Truick so I decided to come down and have a look and never look back really. It took a while for you to break into the side. Lionel Ainsworth was in, was in devastating form. Uh, he joined Watford but you took your chance. I think it was Wickham 2-0 um, down. We bounced back to draw 2-2. Two, two. Um, you came on as sub and um, you just seemed to, to just fly after that. Yeah, um, it was a pretty frustrating period for me. Um, I always wanted to play, but Lionel's in such great form. It was, um, it was I had no argument. Um, that wicked performance when I come on as sub, um, it was a great start for me. And I think it kick-started our career, to be honest. One of my favourite goals you scored for Hereford was against Shrewsbury. It was on a Sunday. It was down the meadow end. It was, a, it was like a side foot for 25 yards. Um, do you remember that? Um, uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that one, yeah. No, I do remember that goal, yeah. Um, that one was pretty special for me. Um, I didn't realise the rivalry was um, so great until, um, you know, I played in that game and uh, it, was a, it was a great setup from Smudge and uh, it was a pretty, pretty standard finish for me, to be honest. We win promotion, we go to League One. Do you feel um, a sense of frustration that we struggled and you see the teams like Burton and Yeovil that have gone up to even the Championship and do you think a missed opportunity was, was lost there? Um, yes and no. I mean, I think we we went into the start of the the League One campaign um, with um, arguably a, a weaker squad than than we had in League Two, so it was always going to be an uphill battle, you know. Um, I think the players did all they had, um, but it just weren't quite to be enough in the end. You left Hereford and went to Bury. Um, you still involved in the game, mate? Um, I did go to Bury. It was just for for a short period, and uh, I got let go and. From then on, I, I just played uh, part time. Um, as things stands now, I've, I've got my own little academy running. Um, we'll be starting the BTEC National Diploma course next year, so uh, I'm fully concentrated on that at the moment, and it keeps me involved in the game. We're here with Cole Broadhurst this afternoon. Are you still in contact with any former players of the squad? Um, I speak to uh, Tumini and Theo and uh, Chris Taylor from time to time, uh, Smudge and, and Steve Guinan from time to time. Um, I like to keep in touch with um, as many players as I can really because um, the majority of the time you just you play for a club and then you just don't hear from anybody again.